Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. First of all, for today, the best from Intel, which was which is going to be i9 3900KS, has been leaked and it comes with 6 gigahertz out of box and it is as we all thought like in i9 this i9 3900KS will be significantly expensive, not that expensive compared to i9 39 3900K or KF mo series, but it is turned to be wrong as it has been tweeted by posted on tech power up and in canada it is priced at 971.99 which is almost thousand bucks and for 6 gigahertz msrp is 22 percent higher than i9 3900k in a retail which is too much and you get almost like maybe four percent for a two to four percent increase with compared to i9 3900k because it goes up to 5.8 gigahertz and it's just 200 megahertz higher like it and do note it's not even like 6.1 gigahertz or something like that it's 6 gigahertz so it's expensive like 1000 bucks for a cpu it's expensive and given the fact like it's just 6 gigahertz i don't know how intel would justify it but consumers will take it if they want it like the absolute best for that 1% to 2% FPS increase something like that uh, even though they know like they are paying premium for it they will buy it so yeah that's it and regarding I went over where there are rumors like there will be a non experience of Ryzen series which is 1700, 7600 and 7700 and it has been shown up on European websites especially from L Lenovo and in there it says 3.6 gigahertz but it is wrong and we also have the pricing for it as i9 7900 will be priced at 429 dollars 7700 at 329 and 7600 at 229 which is reasonably lower like 80 or 80 dollars less compared to other variants but 7900x and 7900 has a massive difference of 120 dollars which is nice to see but at the same time even though these are not that expensive you still need ddr5 and am5 motherboards but the price will be justified as we all know like this cpus can this cpus can be overclocked instantly to x counterpart so yeah and do note that their tdp is 65 watts and not 105 watts or 170 watts like previous generation like x series these are non x variants moving on we have news regarding for 20 gb 12 gb 4080 what it is becoming what is it it has become but first of all we saw ryzen not ryzen but radeon rx 7900 and 7900 xtx as you can see on the screen here gigabyte has filed an eec filing which is a patent for the graphics card and you can see there are various r ryzen rx 7900 xt and xtx which is 24 gb variant xtx 70 24 gb variant and xt 20 gb variant so it has been confirmed they are coming and maybe board partner comes cards are uh, will be available as it has come from gigabyte maybe the board partner cards will be available when it officially launches on december 13 which is a nice thing to see like i already made a video where it says like it will be available with but it's still up in the game but yeah and yeah it's pretty nice to see if there's a competition but we know like the board partner cards will be expensive so we just need to pay more for that for those gpus but it is what it is right now because the graphics card are expensive as hell so yeah and in that same thing we saw something weird like it has been said f uh, G nvidia gf 407 t 12 gb and rtx 4080 has been renamed to rtx 4070 ti 4070 ti so they are renaming 12 GB 4080 to 4070 Ti as of now, and we still don't know how they will price this GPU by Nvidia because if you consider like RTX 4080 12 GB variant was not that good compared to RTX 4080 16 GB variant, along with it, it was clearly bad compared to 3090 Ti. It was similar, so if they are downgrading it 4070 Ti, I don't know, it's not 4070 also, so 4070 will be a different card so if it's 4070 ti they should price it aggressively but they will price it way higher and on some retailers in germany not in germany but in europe in germany mostly alternate.de has rtx 4080 which was less than msrp and do not it was 
a time ago not a long time but some time ago but it has been back to its original pricing of 1549 euros but it was lowered to 1429 i think which is weird to see so maybe rtx 4080 series of graphics card are going to get less prices as you can see on the screen here it is the it has been tweeted by pcgh and later confirmed by video cards like rtx 4080 was temporarily dropped below msrp at 1449 on alternate d and now it is back to pricing like 1549 but at least it was dropped so it is what it is we can see like it will go down in pricing significantly as rtx 4080 is not selling and 1490 is selling like hot as of now so maybe nvidia has been forced to lower the pricing maybe it will happen later down the line but maybe by the next year when 4070 launch or 4070 ti may launch but yeah it's going to happen so yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news i'm pretty excited about everything that's going on sound of your thoughts in the comment section below and for more tech news and for more technical stuff subscribe to the channel like and share this video and i will meet you in the next one peace out